If you want to step up your game, practice this every time you pick up the guitar. You hear the term 1-4-5 progression in a blues context a lot, but the same 1-4-5 progression is used in rock and pop songs all the time. In this video, as we practice this 1-4-5 progression in different keys today, we're going to connect those chords with pentatonic scales, major and minor, triad shapes, simple triad shapes, and as we practice this, it will sound musical right away. So grab your guitar and let's get into this. This is a powerful way to practice. We're going to start more of a beginner intermediate level, but quickly moved into some advanced techniques. Just using a 1-4-5 progression, and what do I mean by that? In the key of E, a 1-4-5 is E, A, B, and that's built from the major scale, the E major scale. So if we have the one is the E chord, one, two, three, four is an A note, would be the A chord. One, two, three, four, five, B. It's so common in music today that one, four, five progression, adding some chords sometimes in between it, but this is the main structure. Let's, let's, so let's work on it this way. So in that opening jam, I'm just looking at the E chord. I'm looking at playing around these chords with major and minor pentatonic, but also with this little triad shapes and connecting them in a musical way. So if we look at the E chord, barring in the ninth fret here, I can easily play around that chord with the E major pentatonic scale. I really like this extended version. You can play through all three chords with that structure easily and then in just adding elements of that major scale in there sometimes. But hitting the chord, playing that major pentatonic, know where your home base is, root note, root note, root note. A chord. It's just adding that A note to that. And then up to the B. I like walking up that way, a bluesy kind of sound. You can easily, you can hear the chords if you target some of those root notes. And that E major pentatonic is all over the fretboard. If this lesson's helpful, hit that like button. I really appreciate all your continued support. So obviously you can do this in different parts of the neck. You have the E chord down here. E major pentatonic is right at your fingertips. You can go back to minor pentatonic.
I'm playing the scales around the chord right where I'm at. I'm not jumping around the fretboard like that. Got the E chord. Minor. Nine, seven, nine, seven, five, seven on the root note here. Major. Slide up from seven to nine, up to the root note in the seventh fret here. Then from nine to eleven, and hitting that B note there on the ninth fret, and right to nine again, that root note here in the ninth fret is E. But right there at your fingertips is minor. Here's an A chord right here, too. And the same concept in any key. Just go to C. To F is the four chord in the key of C. Use the major pentatonic, C major, play around all three chords. This lesson wasn't about being exact with, with this stuff. This is about having the one, four, five progression, Picking a scale, a, a central scale, most of the time with a 1-4-5 progression you can play major or minor from that first chord root note. We chose E major, but you can easily play minor. You can connect these with the little triad shapes of the chords. I promise you if you do this every day when you pick up the guitar, you are going to level up in no time. Have some fun with it. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one.